Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another empties video. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these because my drawer got full, and I was like, good, so I should do another one. So this giant Sephora bag is just full of empties because, like, I lost my basket. I used to have, like, this cute basket I would keep my empties in, and it's just gone. So I've got a good mixture in here, and I feel like there's definitely a lot more makeup, I think. Um, a lot more makeup, some hair care, some skin care, a little bit of everything. So we're just going to talk about everything that I've finished up in the past couple of weeks. There is a whole playlist of all of my empties videos. I'll throw that up in the cards if you would like to binge watch through my empties and get like some good thorough reviews because... I feel like you can get the best review out of an empties video because of course you use the whole product is it a repurchase is it something you're not going to get again like i love these videos and i love looking back on my empties because then i can give myself some insight into the products that i'm using and how often i'm using them and whatnot so let me uh, dump this out and organize it a lot of everything it's actually there's a lot of skincare this time so we might save the skincare for next i've actually got a couple of body care products so let's jump into that first. The first I have this mini um, shower gel from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian 4 Play Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Now I picked up this mini. I was traveling and I really wanted to test this out because I saw it was a mini. I was expecting this to be like a liquid shower gel version of the Boom Boom Cream because I love the Boom Boom Cream but, but heaven knows I can't afford to spend that much money on a full body lotion. I'll spend the money on like a lush karma cream but that I like dole out and slowly use just as like a hand cream because I love the scent so much. The boom boom cream it is more of a body lotion and then that's expensive so I was hoping that like maybe the shower gel would be like a cheaper way for me to use it and then still get the scent out of it. It was an okay shower gel but unfortunately like the scent it's very faint it's a very faint scent to the point where I put it on a poof poof and I use it to shower. The minute I rinse it off, the scent is gone. So it's... I was just really disappointed by this because I was really hoping for like a lasting like scent that was just like the Boom Boom Cream. It does smell like a really light version of the Boom Boom Cream, but like I said, it doesn't last. So I can't recommend this. I did use it. It's an okay shower gel, but I think it's overpriced for what it is, especially since the scent. I was so disappointed. I wanted to smell like this <laughs> so bad. Next, I have a body spray that I adore because I'm 14 on the inside, apparently. This is from Bath and Body Works, and this is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. I have used this like literally since I was like 12 or 13. I love these things. I always keep one on hand. I've got another one like in the basket over here. They're a bit pricey at $14, but if you take into account how long it takes you to use one of these up, I use this daily and it still takes me months to get through one of these. So I gotta say the 14 might be a bit steep up front, but it is really worth it in the long run, um, especially if you get their coupon. So if you sign up for Bath and Body Works emails, keep all the emails because like I just got like a 10 off 30 coupon. So I'm thinking of actually going and picking up a couple of things because I need some lotion for like work and stuff. And those coupons are actually really good. So sign up for the emails, keep all of those emails, um, and then pick up a couple of these because they're really good. And sometimes they go on sale. This is part of the original collection, so it tends to go on sale a bit more often than some of like the newer products, especially because this one is so old. But I just love this scent. It's very cherry blossomy, but it's sweet. It's very sweet, and it just goes so well with the other perfumes that I like because I tend to layer this. So I like to put um, like an actual like concentrated perfume. I like the perfume from Avon that I don't have an empty of this time, but I think I had one in my last video. I'll use the Avon perfume like on my neck and on my wrists, and then I'll give my full upper half just a spray with a couple of pumps of this, and it just works so well together, and I like the scent. Since I mentioned Lush earlier, I do have two Lush empties, the first being the Karma Cream, because like I said, this perf perfume, this lotion, smells so good and it is a bit pricey but i'm willing to do it i actually have another one that's like halfway empty that i'm like i said i'm slowly working my way through because i love it i actually so they opened up a lush in another mall that's local to me and it's a gigantic lush it's like the mecca lush it's amazing but um since i had already bought some products i didn't want to buy anything because i didn't need anything but i did get a little 
of the solid perfume in the Karma. So it was like $12. It's a little solid perfume thing. And I've actually been using that too. I like to put it like behind my ears and like right on my wrists. And it's really, really nice. And it makes me smell like Karma cream all day long. So that product is actually really good, but it is a solid perfume. So it does last a little bit longer. So that's over there. I'm still using it. Um, but yeah, so I really love the Karma cream. Um, I recycle all of my plastic except for these because of course they have the program where if you bring back these, you clean them out, you bring them back to your Lush, you can get a face mask. So keep that in mind. I know some people that actually just recycle these. Well, recycling is good. Please recycle everything you can. But when it comes to like MAC products or like Lush products, make sure there isn't a program in place where you can bring them back to the store and get a free product. Because with Back to MAC, you bring MAC empties in, you get a lipstick or an eyeshadow. With Lush, you bring the products or the empties empty containers back in and you can get a face mask so just be aware of that i keep a special bag where i have all of these in and then i bring them into lush my next lush empty this one i think i mentioned this in a few videos a few months ago this is the rmb hair moisturizer which is one of my favorite deep conditioning treatments of all time and it smells amazing um so this is a great product i actually bought the jumbo size of this which did I need it? No. But did I want it? Yeah. So I still have that jumbo size. I am still using that jumbo size. It's, I'm hoping it's going to last me a good long time. But this is really good. Um, I think this is great no matter what hair type you have. If you have frizzy hair, if you use it as a styling treatment, it can like tame your frizz. Don't look at my hair like right now because I have not done a deep treatment this week and I need to. I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow morning. But um, it works really well either as a styler. Uh, it's a bit heavy, so I would use it like just on like your ends or as a deep conditioning treatment, which is also how I love to use it. And it makes your hair smell so good. All right, let's move over into skincare. I have four packages of my favorite Neutrogena makeup cleansing wipes. I've actually been using less of these because I have been using um, a different like double cleanse to take my makeup off every night. So I mainly use these for like cleaning and for taking swatches off, but if I'm feeling lazy or sick, I do still use these to like take my makeup off my face but these are my favorite ones they're really good and they're still affordable you can still get them in the packs from Costco which is actually how my family gets them so whenever my family goes they'll like pick them up for me <laughs> so I tend to always have kind of like backups all right speaking of makeup remover I do have an empty here from Neutrogena this is one of my favorite like affordable um eye makeup removers this is the oil free eye makeup remover um and i got these these small bottles kind of well these are the 5.5 fluid ounces i got these for like three or four dollars at target you can get these cheaper and you can get them in bigger bottles um but i've tested out a few other like eye makeup removers like including this one from lancome this is the best and most affordable one that i found for someone who wears a lot of eye makeup yes this is actually really good so i do have another one of these open that i'm using and then i have um another backup in my um like toiletries cabinet downstairs so i do like this i do use it and i would recommend it speaking of the lawn comb this was kind of like a little mini sample thing of their by face facil by facil double action eye makeup remover this was 1.7 fluid ounces and I mean, this is nice to take traveling, but like if this wasn't a free sample, I never would have gotten it. Like this is way too expensive. It works okay, but like I said, I think the Neutrogena one works better. I was actually debating whether or not I wanted, well, that's annoying. It's also kind of annoying that the, it is kind of like child-proofed, so you have to like open it like medicine. Yeah, the only reason I was considering keeping this was to keep it for travel, but when I travel, I think it's easier just to bring the wipes with you. And then whenever you get to the hotel or the place, just get some cotton swabs and then work it there so uh can't really recommend this next i have a like face wash slash polisher from tatcha so a long time ago i bought this like best of tatcha kit which had like a little mini dewy skin mist it had a moisturizer it had i think a toner and then it had this uh face wash um so this is a tatcha polished um classic rice enzyme powder i've been trying to work through a lot of like my minis and my samples just kind of on my own and i finally pulled this back out and was using it i use this typically at night and while it did give me like a nice scrub, it left me feeling a bit dry. I don't know, I feel like I had to over moisturize after using this product. And I know other products that can give me a better scrub that won't leave me feeling that dry. Because I didn't feel like tight and dry, it just felt like 
like the moisture was sucking out of my face and I didn't really like it. Um, especially for the price point, this is Tatcha, it's expensive, so no, I wouldn't really recommend this, especially if you have dry skin, this would ruin it. Ugh. A facial cleanser I do really like and have been using almost non-stop for the past year and a half. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin. This is just a perfect balance for me. It cleanses and makes my face feel actually clean after I use it, but I still feel like really moisturized, which is hard to find because normally for some moisturizers, like you feel a bit or for some cleansers, you feel a bit stripped after, but you feel clean. This gives me the perfect balance between like, I feel clean, but I also feel moisturized. It's so good. I normally have a backup of this. I actually have a backup of it right now, but I am testing out a new uh, face wash that I got from a friend of mine. It's from Glam Glow, I think. So I just started testing that one out because I literally just ran out of this like yesterday or the day before. So I'm still testing that one out, but I still have one of these like on standby, like just in case, because it's so good. It's affordable. I love that it has a pump. I love that it comes in like this bigger kind of bottle. It just works. It's great. Next, I have some more products from CeraVe. So this one is the Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. I was so happy that they came out with a vitamin C serum that I like lost it. Because I used to love this vitamin C serum I would get from... Um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I think they finally discontinued it and I couldn't buy it anywhere else. The other place I could buy it was on the like Shop Hush app and Hush just like disappeared. So I couldn't buy it anymore. So I was so glad to see a vitamin C from CeraVe because I've tried out some other products and I love them. This is a great product. I went through the whole tube. It lasts me, I think this was about two months and it's right around $20. You can get coupons, but I got it for $20 at CVS, which I think is great. It lasts a long time. You can really like squeeze it and get every drop out of the tube because the tube, when you get it, it's like a fat tube and you open it up like this and you've got a little thing right there. I... I really like this. I felt like it was moisturizing, but I felt like I did see like some brightening after using a full tube of this. So I do have another tube open that I'm still using right now. I use this just in the mornings right before I go in with my moisturizer. If you want to see me use this, I do have um, a recent skincare video, an entire affordable skincare video where I talk about this product and I mentioned that I had to do a follow up because I just started using it. I really like it. I've already bought another one. Would recommend. The next product is also from CeraVe. This is the Skin Renewing Cream Serum, which is their retinol kind of serum that I use at night. I've gone through two of these already and I've got a third one open in my bathroom right now. I love this. This is what I considered a dupe for the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil that was way too goddamn expensive. This works just as well. It just works with my skin. It helps with my breakouts and I just, I think it's really good for long-term anti-aging as well. Um, cause when I was in my mid twenties, I am in my mid twenties, I'm 26. I started thinking about long-term about like a sustainable, um, preventative skincare routine and this is definitely a part of it and it just works so well again i get this at cvs for right around twenty dollars and if you want to see how i use it in my routine check out that skincare video next i have a holy grail product i have not been without in almost i think over a year at this point this is from the ordinary and this is the 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil i keep multiple bottles on backup this is eight dollars a bottle you can get it at the ordinary's website at sephora and at ulta i use this i mix it in with my moisturizer every night and i apply it this has done wonders for my moisture and for my dark spots and my red spots because i don't break out I don't have like deep seated acne but when I do break out I get red spots and they tend to stay there even after like the breakout is like settled. Using this every night actually helped those red spots fade which is amazing. Um, so between the moisturization and between like helping those red spots fade this is a gem. It's an absolute gem. Would highly, highly recommend it. I've gone through several bottles, and again, it's affordable. It's $8 a bottle. If you get it at Ulta, you can start using your points and whatnot, so just... Oh. This is amazing. I'm so glad I found this. Last but not least, we have a moisturizer that I've been trying to dupe for a while and I think I finally have found some more affordable options. This is from Clinique and this is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I went and I picked up for this one, this is like the mixture bottle where it had like a serum in here and then it mixed in with the actual moisturizer. I think it was just like a vitamin C serum which I don't know if that would have been the best considering I already had a vitamin C, but it 
it, it worked the same way the rest of my moisturizers from Clinique did work. It is expensive. It's like $28, $30 per bottle, depending on the size that you get. Um, and while it does last a while, I didn't want to have to keep spending that much money on moisturizer, especially when the rest of my skincare routine was a lot more affordable. So I'm currently working on a different moisturizer, again from CeraVe, and I've actually really been liking that one. And that one's a lot cheaper. That one was around $14 for a gigantic tub of moisturizer. So I'm thinking this is going to be my last time purchasing this because I, I found some other products. But it is good if you, if you want that kind of luxury experience. You can go for the Clinique, but I don't think it's really necessary. Okay, it's time to finally get into the makeup. And I thought we had more empties, but I might be thinking about like before. So the first product that I want to get into, let's do, I see a primer over here. So like I said, I'm trying to work through some of my minis. So I have a mini here of the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. I have such questions, <laughs> such questions. Can I speak today? The minis and the samples I've gotten of this product have been incredible. They actually remind me a lot of the um, Charlotte Tilbury product that I just picked up. That might be kind of the same product there. But I got so many samples of this product as a primer and I eventually went and I bought the full size like over a year ago. And the full size was so different from the samples. Like I, I thought I was going nuts because I was like, this isn't the same product. Like it felt different and performed different. It wasn't really worth the money to me. Uh, I think I used it up in one of my first project pans because I was like, I just want to finish it up and move it out. And I tried out a sample again just to see like, is it the same? Is it still amazing? It is! So I don't know what is up with this product where the samples and the minis are so much better than the full size product. I do not understand it. But at least to me, it is now confirmed. I will never purchase this product. But if there is ever a chance to get like a mini or a sample, I will because it's a great primer and it's pricey and luxurious but I'll never buy it because for some reason the full-size product is garbage. <laughs> Next I have a mini from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. This is basically just a mattifying pore filling primer which in theory sounds good but I saw a lot of pilling on my skin with this so I had to use it very sparingly like just around my nose but the thing is like right around my nose here I'm really dry. So I don't want a mattifying primer up here, but I do want a pore filling primer right there. So it just didn't really work out well for me. I did finish up the sample just by using it like in my oily areas. But again, I had to make sure I rubbed it out like on my hand and applied it sparingly because otherwise it was really pilly. So I would never purchase a full size of this because I just hate products that pill up like that, especially when it's this pricey. It's Peter Thomas Roth. Next, I have a foundation that I was actually so surprised by. It's one of the only stick foundations that works for me. And I finished it up and I've already purchased a... Uh, I've already repurchased it. This is from Makeup Revolution and this is the Fast Base Stick Foundation. Now, this is in the shade F6. I brought this traveling with me because this is so easy and quick to apply and it just looks really skin-like and it holds up through heat. It's a really good stick foundation. And it's one of the only ones, like I said, I've tried other stick foundations and they just don't work. So the fact that a nice affordable one works for me is incredible. I've actually already repurchased this and I'm wearing it on my face today. I did buy a lighter shade. This original one was in the shade F6. I now have the shade F2 <laughs> and it matches me. <laughs> so if you're near my complexion, I'd recommend the F2. It's not the lightest shade, but it's, it's up there. So I, I just love the stick foundation. I Like I said, I don't think I've found any other stick foundations that actually work for me. So I'm really happy I found this one. Next, I have my current Holy Grail concealer, which I've used up two and I have two open right now. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is the only concealer that doesn't dry me out, doesn't crease too bad, and holds up to sweat. Because when I sweat, it's like right here and it's on my upper lip and it's like on my forehead. And whenever I like sweat right here with some concealers, they'll break down. And so I'll have just like holes in my concealer and in my foundation where you can tell like, oh, she's been sweating, right? This one does not break down. It is so good. It's a good full coverage concealer and I adore it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that just means that a lot of my other concealers that I love in like the fall and the winter and the spring just don't work for summer, but I think it's just because I sweat a lot. 
So I have other concealers I love, but this is the only one that's been my holy grail for like for the summer. Finally, a product that I finished up and I believe is now discontinued. This is actually just the sample size, but <laughs> It was, it was, I thought this was the full size product. It was pretty big and it took me forever to use up. This was a concealer from Benefit and this is the Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade number two, which was a, basically this was a salmon color corrector and it just worked so well. I would just pat it on under my eyes. It would cancel out my dark circles and it would actually help the concealer on top not crease which was incredible. I was like, this is everything I want out of a salmon color corrector because your girl has bags on bags on bags. Yeah, so this helped a lot and it helped any concealer that tended to crease more, not crease as bad. So like I said, this did get discontinued. I think they came out with a new concealer that's named the same thing, but it's not the same product. So I'm testing out some other salmon color correctors, but none of them have been like exactly like this. So enjoying this moving it out of my collection but that being said i remember this is a sample the actual full-size product of this was like this big which is bananas to me this took me months to use when would you use up a gigantic thing probably why i got discontinued <laughs> oh i forgot to mention this back with the foundation so i do have an empty of my favorite white mixer this is from la girl and this is just the pro coverage hd high definition long wear illuminating foundation so this is just their foundation in the shade white this works really well. This is like $8 from CVS. I always keep at least one on backup just in case because I'm pale and I guess I'm just now realizing that I made it to the end of the summer without getting any more color. I'm just a, I'm just Casper now. I just have to acknowledge that and <laughs> recognize that and I'd have to keep using this until I work through all the foundations I have that are now so dark on me. Like if you want to play a fun game, go back to the beginning of my channel and look at my skin and look at the foundations I was using. I was using like in the CoverGirl um, Vitalist foundation, shade 25 was like a good match for me and now shade 10 is too dark. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a great white mixer, it's affordable, and it's been helping me a ton. Next, I have a powder that took me like months and months and months to use up. This is from Cody. Well, this is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I think I mentioned this back in like my favorite affordable loose face powder video. It's a got a it's got a lot of product and it works really well. The scent is kind of jarring if you first open this. It does smell like grandma's. <laughs> so the scent is a bit jarring but you do kind of get used to it and thankfully the minute you like brush off your bake the scent goes away so it doesn't last too long but it is strong so if you're sensitive to scents this probably won't work for you but also this has like a shit shade range which I mean it's like I gotta say the shade range is just shit it's like beige beige orange beige like that's that's the shade range so I picked this up I was testing it out it worked really well for me but I wanted to move it out of my collection and start using some other loose powders with some better shade ranges and not as much product. I think honestly this almost had too much product. <laughs> it, it, that's such a thing. This was, this took me forever. Like by the time I was finished with this, I was like, thank God, I can't wait to get rid of this. Like I was sick of it. <laughs> Last but not least, I have two setting sprays. The first one is from Milani and this is the Make It Last setting spray. This is a good, um, like dupe for the, the MAC Fix Plus because I don't think this is a good like um uh what I'm trying to say it's not going to extend the wear of your makeup but it is going to meld all your powders together and give you a nice finish so it's the same thing that I use Fix Plus for I would definitely get this instead of the Fix Plus because of the price difference but sometimes I just feel fancy and want to get a Fix Plus so that's what this is I do have a mini Fix Plus empty here and this is I think one of their scents this is the coconut one that's my least favorite. I don't really like coconut. This smelled like too coconutty. So I got a mini here. I would recommend just going for the Milani just because it is more affordable and it does actually have for a drugstore um, setting spray. It has a good nozzle, which is pretty difficult to find. So also if you have an empty of this and you've got a setting spray that has a shit nozzle, just open it up and put it in here. I do that all the time. <laughs> and we finally made it. <laughs> That's the end. So those are all of my recent empties. Let me know down below guys what's the last product you finished up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.